No, let me ask you a question. It might be a bit of a tough one, but a lot of people, certainly in football, feel Alex Ferguson is the greatest manager ever in this country, and that's, S- that's Sir Alex. Alex. Sorry, Sir Alex Ferguson. Now, if Pep was to win the treble, where does that put him? Does that put him above Fergie, or do you think Fergie's still the one to, to beat? Alex Ferguson never invented anything. Sir Alex, no. Alex Ferguson Sir. never invented anything. Pep Guardiola changed football. I think you've been a li- I mean, he's won the treble, the fella. He's won so, 13 Premier League titles, I mean... Well, he, he, ne- he never done it in any other countries, did he? <laughs> well, <laughs> no, but he didn't... When he did win... I mean, Pep Guardiola, I think he needs to prove himself, Pep, with, with regards to... To who? To, well, he, to who? when, to when who? he won the Champions League, it was 2012 the last time, so we've got back 11 years, and he had Xavi, Iniesta and Messi in his team. Right. I mean, right. I, could have, I could have probably managed it to... Really? To... Well, the great, <laughs> well, the, well, the greatest manager of all time jammed two Champions Leagues, one on penalties and one in injury time. What's, what, what do you he's, mean? Still, he's still about Fergie. <laughs> like, yeah, but he still won them. I mean, you can't... Listen, I get so? it, but you can't... I mean, you can't just diss Sir Alex Ferguson like that. He was a, He's a genius, right? Yeah, but you're saying... You're saying Ferguson won the Champions Leagues, but you're Twice. not... You're, you're saying... Pep never won them because you're saying that his players won them. So, what, what is it? No, no, what I'm saying is that, that Pep spent... I think, what, over a billion pounds. He spent about half a billion on your, your defence and still hasn't won the Champions League. I think he needs to do that with another club other than Barcelona to prove... To, to, to prove, prove what? He to can, who? To, he could, to prove to me he can dine at the no, top I table. I, do you know what? I can't speak for Pep Guardiola, right? But I'm pretty sure he couldn't give a monkey's what you think. <laughs> <laughs> can you ask him the next time? Now, listen, I, I'm going to see him tomorrow night. Right, just, ask just him. before I get off... Ask him. You you asked what Andy Goldstein thinks about you, and he'll say who, and I'll say exactly. <laughs> he listens to the show. He listens. To the... right, do, do you not? Are you saying then he doesn't have to prove anything? Like for argument's sake, if he leaves Man City whenever that is and hasn't won the Champions League, do you don't think that would be failure? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's mental failure. What are you what talking he, about? What was he brought in to do? Because you won the league twice before he arrived. Have you ever seen? Have you ever? My my kids play football on a, on, a, on a weekend. There, so he's, everybody now. He, has cha- he changed the way football's played. He changed the way football has been played in this country and then probably every country he's ever been in. My kids, everyone plays out from the back. Kids play out from the back. They don't even know what it means, but they do it because he does it. We go. He's a he's a he's a tactical genius and a I- lovely man. Yeah, I can't listen. I can't dispute that, but I don't think we can take anything away from Sir Alex Ferguson. Well, I can. (laughs) (laughs) And I will.